Hi there. Okay, so now I told you that um, it took me longer than I meant to to do the um, the, un the shadowy part on the sky. So what I'm thinking is some of my steps might take longer than a 10 minute video, but I'll try to keep it you know in there good. Okay, I I know with me I don't like to watch really long videos much. If I see something takes a long time, I'm like eh. Anyway, I guess it's that um, short attention span thing. Okay, so anyway, if you don't know me yet, my name is Faye. I've been teaching um, the joy of painting now since 2002, and so I love um, Bob Ross so much. In fact, Bob's back there, so Faye, hey, he's hanging out with us today in the little painting room. All right, so I'm um, gonna point it toward what I've got going already. This is a 12 by 24 pre stretched canvas. So here I have some clouds that I just threw up there in the last video with my one inch brush. However, I ran out of time. I was like six minutes late and I've been trying to keep my videos super short. So I stopped and now I'm starting back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm mixing right now a little bit of my midnight black with a little bit of the blue and a little bit of white. So I'm making a pretty gray. Okay, so um, it's like a pretty, pretty gray. And I'm going to come right in here and put that little bit of that gray under my cloud. And what that is, is that's the rain. Okay, and, and I realize it may not look that great right now, but I'm not done yet. Okay, all right. So I'm putting little bit of shadow in there so this think about it you know whenever you look up at the clouds and wow this time of the year where I live we have rain in the afternoon some and some people are like oh man it's raining again and I'm like yay it's raining again so um, anyway I am putting a little bit of shadow underneath this is a little hard for me to see you can probably see a lot better so what I'm trying not to have is like um, like a, a gray line. I'm going to have to stand up and look. So maybe I'll put some here because I have a glare. The main thing is, is I don't want you to have a glare. I want you to be able to see. All right, I'm going to put some over under this. Maybe. I really don't put that much in here because if these... If you can see rain in those, then that means it's, they're like really heavy. So I kind of put some in there and then I, I uh, caught myself. Okay, so at this point I would usually, um, what you call, um, Bob would call beat the devil out of it. And I don't have my setup. One day I'll show you my setup. I do have a, a paint thinner container over here. All right. Now, I wipe this really good. See how I'm wiping it? Wiping it really good. And now I'm going to hold my brush way back here and go in and tickle some of this in together. And what I'm doing is just using a tiny bit of those one-inch brush bristles and bringing some of that bright white down into into the gray. Now I can always go in if I need to and I can add more white. You can spend as much time in the clouds as you want to. I think that that's one of the things I've had to struggle with the most with my classes sometimes is because I love the sky so much that we will be painting in the sky maybe longer than we need to, okay? So, I've got that shadow in there, and I'm actually going to get now, I'm going to get a lot of white paint again. Remember, if you saw the other video, you saw that I got what I call a pound of paint. And I'm going to come in now and maybe reach down and put some of the bright white in there. So, most of my classes during my um, career have been in-person classes, but um, I'm doing more and more like Zoom classes. So if you know, 
that you would like to try to paint in the privacy of your home or what if you have two or three people together um, you know we can have a paint party and you can be at your home you can be on the other like um, side of the nation if you want to be doesn't matter to me and I can adjust my cl my class times and um, you know we can do a private class don't have to be on the same time zone because I can work with you there. So just let me know because I really want to reach out and do more. This is something that I've thought about doing for a long time. And I have to admit the, the COVID stuff has kind of pushed me that direction more. I tore off the paper towel there. Now, if you're in an online class with me, what I do is I will definitely show you everything I do. I will show you what the paintbrush looks like after I've loaded it. And if you're in a class with me, I'll say, put your paintbrush up there so I can see it. And I will look at what you've got going on on your brush and then say, ooh, I don't think you've got enough paint or you need more paint. Um, and so it's very interactive. And then I'll have you show me your painting and tell me how, it, you know, show me what bothers you about it, if anything. Okay, I might even look at yours and say, hmm, I like something about yours better. And then I might adjust mine. You never know. Um, I always learn from my students. Okay, so here we go. Back to the painting. So I am hoping you see that adding a little bit of gray in there helps it to look um, more dimensional. But there's another step we're going to do. Okay, so I'm wiping my brush really, really well, really well, and I spread out my bristles. So I'm going to use these few, few, a few bristles right here, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm sorry about my hand being in the way, but maybe I can turn my easel. I don't know if that'll help. It, it doesn't help me to see. <laughs> and this is just a little demo painting, if you're painting with me then um, I do extra tri tricks to make sure you can see. But I'm using the corner of my brush. And I am going in and I like to blend the bottom edge of the clouds into that blue. The blue sky. La la la. We might like to sing while I'm doing it. And I go up but I don't go over the top edge. Did you notice that? I never go over the top edge. And I'm not even working with these right now. I have a trick for that too. Okay. So I did stretch my, my paintings out, my steps out a little longer because some of them just need, need at least eight or nine minutes. Okay. So, I'm going to wipe my brush now and do a very light swish across. I'm going to go up, two hairs and some air, as Bob would say. So, if you've ever wanted to paint Bob Ross style, please send me a message. Because I do Zoom classes, and we have had so much success with our Zoom classes, my people have done so well. So, I'm going across. Sometimes I might get a little heavy handed with this and look what I'm doing to these. I'm just going with the contour of them. I'm going to go up. I like to make the sound. I love to make the sound. But I can be your personal Bob Ross instructor no matter where you live. Okay, so let's see. I'm look in the camera and see what you see. Yay! I hope you enjoyed those. Stay tuned. I'm coming back and I'm going to do the mountain, okay? Because I am just like trucking right along with a kind of a classic Bob Ross painting today, okay? Have a great day. Bye. Come back.